this is old cam. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to talk about the Cannes Film Festival. It is our day seven. It is our day eight. Oh, day eight. Their day six. Oh, okay. See, we've been doing it so many days, I'm losing track. I think I need to look right beforehand. Um, but one of the things that has been very evident, because yesterday when we were talking about it, we're going, there's not as much information today. One of the things is when there's bad weather. Oh, oh yeah, a bad, okay. If you were living in New England and wanted a really nice spring day, this is a nice spring day in New England, unfortunately. If you're wanting to go out in swimsuits, in expensive gowns that basically you want everybody to see you in, and hairdos that cost you $500, you do not want to go out today in cons. Actually, two days in cons. You yeah, know, you know who wants to go out looking like and, a ground red? And the weather forecast is for three to four more days and another inch, at least another inch of rain. With winds from, winds from 20 to 50 miles an hour, depending upon. Here, here's the problem is a lot of people aren't actually staying in cans or driving in. I don't want to drive on, on mountain roads. And well, you weather. don't want to drive on mountain roads. The other thing is, um, if you're wearing gowns and tuxes and it's rain, first of all, a lot of these people don't bring slickers. I did see a lot of umbrellas in some of the pictures. Yeah. But when you've got crosswinds and rain, you know you're going to ring your dress, especially if... All these gowns, a lot of them are borrowed, or a lot, th a lot of them are very expensive. Yeah, and basically, the winds are a killer because uh, we'll, we'll give it to the same. This is three days in a row because of the high winds. I said the first day, why don't they just wear panties? I said the third day, second day, why don't they just wear panties? And by now, God awful, they should know they should be wearing panties. Actually, they're just not going out. Well, no, but there's some of them still are going out, but they're basically, this is how they're walking around, basically holding their slit skirts are in, folks. Well, you know, part of it is if they didn't walk around holding that and the wind blew, that would be a story. I know, but okay, here's one the guy said. If they don't want to be seen, then why are they wearing a skirt that blows up if the wind blows? Instead, it really looks bad, bad over. So, mm -hmm. But uh, today we're going to talk, okay, today's movies that are running are uh, Vu Navals en Colorado Rainbow. Mm -hmm. like, this one's in English, like someone in love, but basically it's done. So those are the day's movies, and tomorrow, okay, we're, we're basically we're having the jury bring things around because um, basically killing them softly basically uh, is sort of a problem because they've only got one sheet out on it total. It's mm -hmm. just like Brad Pitt isn't there because there's no press material available on that movie. And this, it was a movie that had massive buzz, but they said the people that basically made this movie are the same people that did his killing Jesse James as sort of kill, killing Jesse James. They didn't. I know promote that's it that's either. really kind of sad because here you've got a, a movie that's screening at cons and I mean here this will give you an example. How many pages was the Lawless collection uh, of? Okay, the Lawless was like forty six pages in material. And how many was Madagascar? Madagascar is uh, actually, I actually have it right in front of me right here. I think it's like. Um, uh, 20 pages okay. on Madagascar. And Lawless? Uh, I, I, it was Law, uh, that's what Lawless was. Moonrise. Or Moonrise. Moonrise was um, 27 pages. Yeah, I mean, so it gives you kind of an idea. I mean, yeah, these are people who want people to know about their movie. I mean, but it looks like they're trying, if, okay, if Brad Pitt isn't even there and he's not according to the intendants and things, because his movie plays in, um, what is it? Uh, it plays in about eight hours mm. for the first time. So, but um, so we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit. Actually, we're gonna go over to our our daily. Actually, she's going to do uh, what? So we're gonna tell you something about cons that you didn't know. Before. Oh yes, I always love to see this because here's the great part: is we do have access to um, the festival to cons at press site, and one of the things they have is, did you know this is about Echoes, and first yeah. of all, I'd never heard of it before, so I didn't know about it at all. No, we're finding things <laughs> out. We're trying to publish the things that, uh, just like we did a thing, we're, we're, we're like a digital Hollywood, where we basically wrote about the things that we didn't know before that we thought you might be interested in, because mm -hmm. cons actually is a big tourist event. Most of the people that go there are not there. Uh, for any other reason except to go in to see the movies, and they don't know about all these extra little things that, that are there for the people because mm -hmm. they don't read the info that they're sent for one thing. So. Or they don't have access to it. Uh, if you don't have internet, which a lot of people don't have. So. Yeah. Um, and this is about Echoes, and it's, it's helping you to discover the excitement of international cinema 
um, such as the vocation of Echoes by the Festival de Cannes, a leading international content aggregator that is dedicated to cinema. Echo selects the very best from the cinematic world festivals, institutions, prominent figures, journalists, and bloggers, and get all the latest film news from those who make it. Through the Echoes of the Moment, you can follow your favorite media and blog, Facebook and Twitter, as well as create and share your own selection of news items. You know what I just thought about? Mm -hmm. You know, Beasts of the Southern Wild. That was yeah. just shown. Oh, yeah. Was it we, yesterday or the day I before? I think so. Uh, but, uh, it, it, I don't, in a sense, I don't know. Okay, well, I think. Well, I think part of it is we've been doing this for so many days and. We're the, losing track. The, we're losing track of which we day. We have an invitation to go see the Beast of the Southern Wild. There are actually, we've already reviewed Beast of the Southern Wild. I'm not going to go back and. You, you can't do better than spending days in the same, eating breakfast and lunch and all that stuff with the people that produce the movie, the crew and everything. Mm -hmm. So a revisit of that doesn't work. So basically what we talk about too, the, the quote of the day, I love this one, cinema is the art of the off-camera, a way of um, uh, talking about things without showing them. You see, that's the way it's supposed to be in film. Most of what happens in really good movies, okay, um, for instance, um, Lady of the Lake, uh, with with uh, Robert Montgomery never showed him in a movie. All they showed was talk he was talking, but his character Rope, for instance, was most of what happened in Hitchcock's Rope was off camera. Mm -hmm. It's just the just like the basically the camera is providing a means to get into things, and that's all. But um, but what else have we got that might be interesting? Oh, he said. Um, I I think this one's funny. Now this was overheard on a con's yacht. This came out through Twitter because we've been watching Twitter as well as Facebook. I thought this was funny. Well, this was more appropriate when the weather was good, but I thought it was funny because it says, my agent keeps handing me scripts. And I'm like, are you crazy? I don't have time to read with all the parties. Yeah. Oh, and um, Gerard Butler is not leaving the yacht that he's on because I love this. I don't want to... Uh, to downplay all of the uh, make the, I don't I something I don't want to make the other people that are here cons look small. If uh, basically he he basically put his foot in his mouth. I what? Mean, I mean he's he's there to promote a movie. He doesn't want to come out because he 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 would step on the other people's time if he came out. No, Gerard Butler isn't that big, folks. I mean they passed him over to put Daniel Craig in and James Bond because he wasn't. And he's oh. more athletic than Daniel Craig, but he, he took his foot, put it in his mouth. Oh, ouch. Actually, I would have liked to have seen him in that role. That would have been a good James Bond. Yeah. We got, well, uh, he, he doesn't have a, does he have a British accent? Well, he's, a be, he's bigger and more athletic, too. Mm. So, well, he basically, he was in a 300 Spartans. Yeah. Oh, or a 300, big muscular guy. He um, was in Arthur. He's mm. a, he can do all this stuff. But uh, we have uh, also, we got the... Um, can Star Movie Lounge again. On the 18th, the lounge hosted two movies. During the morning, the Can Movie Star Lounge Welcome Lawless, one of the films in competition, directed by John Hillcoat and Shayla Booth. And the, uh, in the afternoon, it was the turn of Painted Skin, the resurrection of Chinese film, directed by Ku, uh, like that, Ko Fu Chen. The movie is not in competition, but it will premiere in Shandao Shang on June the 15th, ahead of it. And uh, basically, then they, it was, uh, they held. Uh, Avatar, you know, the place where it end of our by Brandon Cronenberg's and Caleb Stephanie Jones, but um, that's you know that's a lot of the con stuff. We can next that we got the, this one, which is we're basically mm -hmm. doing a movie that wasn't in competition, but is actually hot there, which is Madagascar Three, Europe's Most Wanted in 3D. Yes, in fact, actually, we now have seen three movies in 3D. Yeah. Well, actually, we haven't seen them, but we've seen three movies that are playing in cons for 3D. Yeah. Uh, hey, for the first time in 3D, the Zoosters of Madagascar are on the run, hiding out with a circus, doing death-defying tricks and making new friends. I, I think they should have been gone by now after two movies. <laughs> but uh, basically, in a third billion, in a third set of billion-dollar franchise, uh, determined to make their way back to the Central Park Zoo in New York, New York City, leaving Africa behind. They've taken a, a detour, and they have surfaced in Europe because there's a lot of Madagascar stuff going on at the Cannes Film Festival. Oh, there is. In fact, if you look at some of the pictures, we actually have some on um, some of our coverage. They've got the penguins, the lion. Um, they have, you know, the, the crazy, like, I call it clown hair with the rainbow colors. They're making it a lot of fun. Actually, they were lucky. 
What happens during these photo calls if it's raining? Uh, well, they, they don't go out. Okay, out. They, okay, they don't go out in the rain. That's a simple tip because they're they're not going to screw up their clothes, and the photographers are not going to mess up their cameras for nothing because nobody comes out. Okay, would you go out in New England during a gale to do a, a, a photo shoot? No. I mean, I'm sitting there watching a thing for one of the people on my side of Facebook that is a cameraman. He's there, and he's basically, you know, I've got some really great photos today. They said um, they have photos of the other photographers cleaning their camera lenses. I have photographs of the cinnamon talk of the of the videographers, you know, trying to make certain that their cameras work anymore after getting wet. And I have photos of me cussing the weather. So <laughs> that was their photos there. So, mm -hmm. but um, so with another day like that, they aren't going out. Yeah, because so. you know what happens. I think sometimes they're kind of like golfers. Is they have some some gear right for mm -hmm. inclement weather, and they always think that it's going to change, and the sun is going to come out and shine, and then they'll oh, get the shot. It's the French but, Riviera. You yeah. don't go. What is the biggest complaint that we have heard? from everyone that we know, including on my side, that have went there about the problem with the weather. What? They weren't prepared for it. They didn't bring clothes for oh, the weather. Yeah. It got into the teens in some places, and it's been know. in the late... They're lucky the it hasn't snowed. Well, it could have snowed because the weather was that cold. But, um, you know, but it, it basically, you know, it, it changes the way you do your coverage. You know, you try to bring as much information as possible. We're hoping... That, okay. We can guarantee you that tomorrow's not going to be any better than it. actually three to four days of more rain and winds. So we're going to dig up some more information so we can bring you something, even if the parties aren't all going on. Yeah, we'll try to take you, you know, give some information about the little things, but that's guess until tomorrow. This is all counting. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to www.montebubble.net on the net to get the production notes. As of right now, Madagascar is up. Um, we also had lawless. Uh, lawless and uh, and the moonrise sun moonset sunrise whatever that thing is. And wasn't there something for Cosmopolis or something? Cosmopolis is, I think that one's got to go up yet because the movie. Uh, I, I, I have actually no Cosmopolis is up. Moonrise isn't. Okay. So the Cosmopolis was my first one. Then lawless. Then Madagascar. Mm -hmm. So I, I get confused, but you can find. The um, you can find other the, the quicker information the, the smaller information is on www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com and then other information is available where on Facebook on Monty Bubbles Network as well as on Twitter for Monty Bubbles. So we're gonna, you know we're gathering information through all of our multiple sources, bringing the best to you that we can from com. So wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscasts in 3D. And thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet.